Today I'm getting some artwork matted for a show that I'm doing in Columbus, Ohio on Sunday, the Avant-Garde Arts and Crafts Show. And I've got these little 4x4 prints that I had made from some of my original paintings and also from some of my photographs. And I have this really fun way to I'm gonna make the backs nice and pretty and add little stickers um, with my art name and business. And I have to give a little shout out to the people who helped me pull this all together. The mats that I got for this are from Etsy, from an Etsy seller. He goes, his name is Alex, and he's with the Mat Board Shop on Etsy. He's out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. I highly recommend his shop if you're looking for some mats. He will cut any size, any shape, any way you want them, and the delivery is amazingly fast. So shout out to Alex from the Mat Board Shop on Etsy for my mats. And the other awesome person that I met online, so to speak, is Miriam from Miriam's Nature. Uh, she's an artist who does a lot with acrylic inks, which is how I found her, with acrylic inks and alcohol inks. And she has a really cool method of making the backs of her canvas boards look pretty by using scrapbooking paper. So that gave me the idea. And you need to check out Miriam's Nature anyway. Just listening to her voice is so calming and so soothing. And I love her videos all in all. So Miriam's Nature and Alex from the Matte Board Shop on Etsy were my resources for this little project. So what I have are these awesome mats and my photos and cut pieces of scrapbook paper that I have cut to match the back here. And then I have my labels, which I got, I had made at Vistaprint. They do my business cards and, and other paper products that I use for shows. And I had these uh, little stickers made that just use my colors and one of my pieces of artwork that I use as a logo and just leaves me some space to put a title in or any other information that I need. I'm securing the back of my photos with just a little tiny bit of photo safe tape, sticky side up, so that I can position the photo. mat like so and I don't really know if using tape like this is recommended or preferred but I just put it on the very edges I've been doing it for years on photos at home without any bad results so I just do it and then I'm using this scotch brand um, it's like a tape roll, and what's really neat about it is I can just go along like this, and it applies my tape, like so, along all the edges of my mat board. And then I can take my pre-cut backing paper and put it in place. This gives me a pretty background, a pretty backing. And this is the way my print is meant to go. And this one is called Make-A-Wish. So I'm going to put my little Make-A-Wish tag on the back. And I have my print ready to put in a little cello bang bag to have it ready for the show. So some tips there. Make sure you check out Matboard Shop on Etsy if you're looking for some cut mats. And definitely check out Miriam's Nature if you want to hear a beautifully soothing voice and some great tips on alcohol and acrylic inks.